Hello everyone, welcome back to Trip Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Subsistence, and we are in Season 2, and now Episode 175. Well, today's episode was all about the top of that tower. So, the plan is, um, I had a comment, uh, I think it was Avril who said, what about putting lights up there, and I'm going, e yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a lot more of the base that needs lights as well, I guess, but you know what? It makes perfect sense to me now, now that I think about it. You can't have, you know, an airplane control tower at your base without having some protection from lighting, so it's not going to get hit by other planes, or low-flying eagles, for example. That makes a lot of sense to me, so yeah, it might look pretty uh, snazzy, I think. I think it's a good idea. So, thanks for that, Avril. We're going to do that, but... Um, yeah, we need to grind a little bit. Um, the base is currently working with the mass fabricator, so I need, I really do need some more scrap. I can get away with making four lights, just. Um, but I'm going to go for a little bit of a grind over here. Now, you know full well that I'm not looking for anything really but scrap. So whenever I jump in the water and I come over here, I'll see everything else but the scrap. So, and the best place for it is either on the ground or in some of the crates. I can see a couple. These ones quite often have scraps, so thank you very much. That one had none whatsoever. <laughs> Typical. Grab the fibre as we head up to the next crate. Come on, game. Be nice to me. Be nice. Ammo, electrical component, yeah, that's kind of part of what I need, I suppose, but, uh, no. Oop, there's the scrap. See, it's on the ground. Making me work for it instead of, uh, allowing me to pick it up from a crate. Is that a strawberry? Yum, 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 yum. Now, there's bound to be an animal around here somewhere, and I just about ran straight into a dog. I think he's kind of coming after me a bit. I don't think he's a rabbit. There's possibly a bear or something up here, so I just have to be a little bit... There's a dog down there. Did that dog come way after me or not? Doesn't look like he did. There's a crate just there, and there's a dog just there. Can I crouch enough to get... You know, the ammo is not bad, of course, but I really need the scrap game. The scrap has become. Oh no. Is he gonna see me? If he comes one more step, he will. He has. And we're off and running! <laughs> we can take out the dog, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste my ammo on him. Now, where did the other dog go? I can see him. He's up the top there. I reckon I can chase this rabbit up the edge. He'll probably growl. There he goes. I just heard him. Just on the edge there. Growling away. Oop! We got a black bear. Yeah, he doesn't like me either. You can... no, oh, for crap's sake, he's hunting me. And there's a dog up here. Gee, where's like a ping ball machine? Now where's their dog? Good grief. I just wanted some scrap. Yeah, there's a bear down there. Oh, there's another grub tree. Oh crap. Where is he? There's a rogue around here somewhere. Sorry Mr. Rogue. Oh, there's some scrap there though. Probably gonna get peeved off with me. You watch, I'll get a gunshot in a sec. Oop. I did hear a rabbit. There's a crate down here and there's a dog down here. This dog's gonna have to go, I think. Sorry, puppy dog, but um, you're gonna have to go. Ah, oh, jeez. That was an overkill, Trev. Two shots would have been plenty. Come on, game, give me some ammo back. He did, but not the right ammo. Oh well. He 
some livers for home. I'll eat that. I think I might eat a couple of them. Drink some water. How far do I have to go to clean my hands? Not far. We're actually going right around the loop here, aren't we? Around the actual uh, edge of the lake here a bit. I didn't really want to do this. The mass... That's not very often you get a water bottle in the... In the drop. Oh, for Pete's sake. What is with all the animals at the moment? I do actually need more meat, but that's getting a bit ridiculous. Alright, you know where we're going. I can do with sandstone, I can do with the uh, kelp, all sorts of stuff, but yeah. Can I get this? No, I'm going to have to go up. Now I can go down and get it. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know. There's sandstone over there, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Well, that was quite a weird looking grinding session, I can tell you. wonder if it's worthwhile just going back. Now that dog, I think, is to the left of the happy tree, grub tree, whatever people call it. Six log tree. Sorry, I just thought I heard the eagle then flapping his wings. Right, anything interesting down here on the side of the lake? No, not really. So I need um, each light, by the way, that I'm trying to make for the tower. They cost 50 mass each, and I think I had 117 or something, so I needed to run the mass fabricator to sort of quite quickly get my mass back up. So I think it should be well over 100 by now. So my idea is if there's kind of like four sides to the tower internally and four corners, I'll just put a light on each corner. Almost like north, south, east, west. And then I can go up and turn. It'll be a manual thing. It's one thing I kind of wish they had in um, subsistence is a way of having a switch that uh, only points to one set of lights. That way you can kind of turn the floodlights on. Yeah, you might want to turn on three of your seven floodlights, but not all seven kind of thing. And then some other times you might want to turn on the other four and so on. So, yeah, it would be handy to have individual kind of circuits, I guess. Crate to the, to the front door. Oh, man. I don't know. I mean, happy to have the other gear, but it's like, man. I really would like to have some more scrap. Anyway, let's see where we up to. 153, that's fantastic. Uh, we're gonna turn that one off. We can fill that one up, turn that off. Okay, grab a little bit more biofuel. We're gonna fill that one up and turn it off. Okay, still got heaps and heaps of that going, which is really good. Um, I'll also eat that. I can put the strawberry in the fridge. How about that? That's not bad. Don't always get to do that. Uh, mm, hang on. The animal fat can go in there and make some biofuel, but... Uh, actually, I can cook up both of these. We will do that. Put the grub oh, I need to go fishing again there. That and that and that. Can go in there. There's another four electrical components. We have gone through quite a lot recently, you know. There's another tomato seed for the seed bank. Let's just use that water instead. Throw some more into the um, outside area as well. So I'll probably eat one of these, put one back in the fridge. Eh, ammo's not too bad, not doing too badly. Um, then I 
there's already should be yeah or it should be two lights already in the BCU so we'll go and crank another couple what are they medium hmm there you go so we'll eat one throw the other one in the fridge now gotta go and see if we can make now, I didn't, did I pick up any? Oh no, I might have picked up one scrap. So each one needs three. Oh, I've got to get the four. Okay. There's definitely, there's enough to make three lights. I only need two more, but... But, 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 but... Um, how many did I say? I think I had four on me from the, from the run outside. So the grind was kind of successful, I suppose. There's two. Oh, maybe we should leave it. I'll leave it and go up. Yeah, my chicken's gone. Another egg. I had just grabbed a couple out. Oh, actually, I don't know what I'll do. You know what I'll do. I won't feed them the famous Courtney steak and eggs today, but I will feed them a couple of tomatoes. They're not down too low. Although they could do with it. Just give them a couple of tomatoes, that'll push them up a bit higher. I often rotate the steak and eggs with the tomatoes. Every now and then, yeah, that would look pretty cool having those four lights up the top there, I think. Hmm, to see how I can position them, I guess. Uh, actually, yeah, I think they're probably done by now. Yes. Okay, so we've got all four. So let's go through to the elevator, go up to the top, and see how we can set these up. Make sure you're standing on the elevator. This is to here. And then now I can look around. It's not the way I was thinking. Although you could, I suppose. Um, hang on. Just say we swap out that for that. Well, I didn't realise that was down so low. Can I squeeze in that? Yes, I can. Um. second. Doesn't it like that? <laughs> what? Are we too far away from a BCU extender? Maybe we need to make one of them first. I was thinking there was like four poles and I could just go around and put one and one and one and one but here it's almost like you could put one there Oh, no, I suppose you could put them on here, couldn't you? Yeah, you could put them on any of these, actually. Hmm. Yeah, maybe there needs to be, like, two at the back here. And then two at the front on the sides or something. That would probably work. Yeah, interesting. Guess what? I think we need another um, BCU extender. Let's go down and see what that costs to make. Should be able to make that, I think. Please don't tell me it needs more scrap. <laughs> oh, how many? I think there's eight is the max, is that right? Oh, five scrap. Damn it! Alright, a circuit board and an ingot. Circuit board, we've got those. Where is it? One of them, one of them. Is that all my scrap just about gone? Oh man. So, BCU range extender, it just needs 80 mass. We're at 70 now. Gee, 400 power. Yeah. See, even our power coming in at the moment is probably majority is uh, 
solar panels 2.8 2.79 is actually coming through the solar panels <laughs> 0 0.01 through the obviously there's not much wind around um, let me drink some water Seventy-two, seventy-three. Is there any more water in here? There is. Hmm. I have got rather a fair bit of armor on, which is adding to my heat um, issues, by the way. Hmm. You know what? It's not going to matter if I run it for a little bit. Yeah, so there's a BCE range extender just there on the imaginary wall. Uh, where do I have the other one? There's one I think above the fire. I think I'd put one over here. So there's one there. So that's one above the door there. One, two, three, four. Actually, did I have one over here at the garage? I'm not sure. No, because I think... Oh, that's right, I'm going to have to fix the ATV too. At least it's on flat ground today. Yeah, I think I've got four. I'm pretty certain the limit's eight, so we should be able to put one up there. Even if it's not right up the top, it should uh, allow us to extend the range, I think. Alright, we there yet? Yeah. So I have to take that out of... Hot bar slot five. Get ready to put it in. Don't have to think about exactly. It's like a dome, I think, in in size. So hmm. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Um, I don't think, if I go three up, and I'm here, I'm just wondering, uh, hmm, go all the way to the top up here, if I select it, See, I can see that current blue bubble down there. I might have to put it down. I don't think I can put it anywhere like that. Okay, hang on a second. Make sure I'm on the elevator. Let's go down to the bottom here. If I select it again... just put it there somewhere and extends it. Will that extend the bubble all the way to the top? Mm, not sure. Okay, it will let you put it on glass. Just wondering about that. So is that too far away going up there? Kind of looks like it, hey? It's okay here. So maybe the best I can do is put it up here somewhere. Hopefully that bubble just pushes it up as far as possible. Alright, let's see. Let's see if it's worked. Grab my lights. Time to tell. Yes, it does. It does work, I think. So, if I could put one here, I guess, on the one there, select another one, one there, so there's two at the back, and maybe just put, I mean don't forget this is going to be a manual process, coming up and turning them on, something like that, so you have to come up and actually turn them on, we'll have to wait till night time to see, but, is that a crate? I think that's a crate. Alright, we might have to do a little bit of grinding. So that's actually worked, but yeah, I forgot about the whole BCU range extender. 
and I think I'm probably going to end up needing another half a dozen lights down the base here. I've done so much work, work without um, probably enough lights in the place, to be honest. Um, let's just save it before we go out. Carry with me Old Faithful. Go over to the beach side here and just see. Should be a... Oh yeah, it's a building crate. You know what, Mr. Building Crate? I really need scrap. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why that's the case, but, um... 25. Oh, I don't know how I got so many shotgun shells again. It probably helps when you're not going through them like crazy. Using other type forms of ammo, I suppose. was interesting over there before when uh, I could hear someone cutting down trees. Must have been just far enough away. They actually didn't see me. I have a funny feeling if the uh, rogues see you, they're a bit like the hunters. They don't give up and they just keep coming for you sort of thing. Which can be a good thing or a bad thing. some more of those um, builders crates that have the um, scrap in them. That's what I need. You see we're not we're not really that far away from night time so we'll get to see some of these lights at night. So I mean it's one thing to kind of I guess go up to the top, turn the lights on, see what it looks like from up there. But I think I'd like to kind of come down to the bottom, inside the base walls, and just have a look at what the tower looks like. And then maybe come outside here, and see what all that looks like. Did I just do that one? I did. I was just thinking at the back of my mind there, um, did I turn off all the um, generators? I mean, the beauty of them is that, you know, if you forget, they'll eventually just run out of biofuel and stop, so it's not the end of the world. Do we need a chicken? Oh, couldn't quite see him then. I don't think I broke the arrow, though. Did it go further than I thought? No bear around at all. Might have went there it is. I was gonna say I thought it might have went a bit further than I wanted it to. And there he is again. He's sort of like cheesing me. Cheesing me right off. <laughs> Actually, I can't see much in the way of drops anywhere, hey. Like no crates, nothing. Plenty of fibre around. You know how sometimes you can kind of go back over your steps and then the crates will be there. I wonder if this bear's moseyed off somewhere else. Or is he right in the way? Doesn't seem to be down there. Is he over that side? Down the beach? Yeah, right down there, that might be him. I don't mind if he's cleared out for a bit. Yeah, it's quite weird, I haven't seen much in the way of crates around at all. The tree's done, Trev. Instead of looking at the tree, I'm looking around at the landscape to see if something had spawned in, but nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, you chickens are still doing alright, I suppose. Thanks for the free egg. Let's just double check that these things are going alright. They are. Well, actually, we probably could just chop her up, eh? Sorry, Mrs. Chicken. So you gotta get 
rid of that, get rid of the medicinal leaves, get rid of the electrical components, that can go in there. Need water and vegetables. I'll have a carrot, a potato, and water, and maybe an onion, and another carrot. And of course I'm having all of that with dinner. Chicken. Looks like she's getting dark enough for me to go and have a look in a sec. Let's go and see what these lights look like. Alrighty. Dark enough, I think. Well, let's go up and have a look. Feels like the express lane, you know. Oh, nice night too. It's actually uh, just a moonlit night. All right, let's have a look. That one on. That one on. Yeah, it's a pity there wasn't like a. I don't know. I mean, you could almost technically put another couple at that side as well, I suppose. I want to see what it looks like from just the top of the roof. Let's have a look. Eh, can't see it all that well. Yeah, anyway, it's not too bad, I suppose. Probably see it better from downstairs, actually. Yeah, it still kind of sh lights up, I guess. Yeah, you probably do see it better from right down the bottom. Let's go out to the front here near the garage. Let's see what she looks like. Kind of interesting because you don't really get to see. Maybe you need to be up a little bit higher here. No bears around. Yeah, they're not. They're not the most um, powerful lights, are they? on the beach right there oh come on <laughs> really there's one two three of them just there man just when I can't go to come out and have a look at my own lights man I'll probably hang around there more than anywhere else all right let's have a look from over here oh yeah I mean, it, like I said, it's not the most powerful lighting, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Looks interesting, but doesn't, you know, doesn't exactly shine up the whole whole area, but yeah. I guess it kind of looks lived in, I suppose. It's funny that you can see the two fires burning underneath. Oh well. Bit interesting. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they'd be better off with floodlights. That's another option, I suppose. Oh well. There you go, Avril. Thanks for the idea. Looks pretty cool. I don't mind it, but yeah, would love to have had a uh, better way of controlling the lights. I think. Yeah, still doesn't look too bad. Depends on what angle you're looking at as well. Huh. Very interesting. Speaking of lights, uh, where are they? Just. I kind of need a few more lights down here, don't I? I've always had these two, because this is where I'm running around all the time and operating, doing stuff, but I need one here around the crops and whatnot. Definitely. And there is one on the third floor there near the lathe. <laughs> That's interesting, you can kind of see whereabouts in the bush he is when he's running around with a little green light. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good view from up here, I guess. Oh well, that's what it all looks like. 
idea. I gather if I've got floodlights, it'll probably stand out a little bit better. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty well lit up now. Eh? I just need to add. I reckon I could add another four inside the base. Sometimes it's just things that you um, oops, wrong level. Like this one here. Like there's another one here that I don't use that often. So I guess if you've had enough power, and especially a power in reserve, and you had all the lights on, you could turn it on just to see what the whole the whole place looks like when it's lit up, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, well, um, we'll probably have to leave the episode here. That's not bad, but you know what? Off camera, and possibly next episode as well, I'm going to have to go for some more grinding, I think. I really am. Um... I really need a lot more scrap, and I'm kind of, you know, you're going to go through it a fair bit anyway. Um, I don't know, I just thought that was gunfire, but no, I can't hear anything, it's just the um, sparkling of the fire next to the rogues there, I think. See, there's one guy kind of walking around the edge there a little bit, he's probably fishing or something. Not sure if that one's up hunting or just looking for timber or something. As long as they don't come this way too far, I'll be okay. Hmm. Alright everyone, I'll have to leave the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed that today. It was good setting up the tower and getting the lights on. It's kind of like completed it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm certainly going to have to do some more lighting for the whole base too. It needs a little bit more, I think. Anyway, alright people, I will leave the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and if you have, you can really help and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can make a help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.